So, I left Adobe and you can too. If you're not sure how, then that's exactly what this video is for. I used Adobe Photoshop, Premiere, and After Effects professionally for over seven years, and after they hiked up their prices to $70 a month behind my back, that was really the final straw for me. And so for this year, my 2026 resolution was to drop Adobe once and for all and find a replacement. So in this video, I will show you exactly how I moved my video production pipeline from Premiere to DaVinci in less than five minutes. All right, so when you create a new project, it will look like this. Now, what I've found is 99% of the work you wanna do is usually gonna be in the edit mode, unless you're mainly an After Effects user, in which case you're probably gonna be in fusion mode. But we'll talk about fusion in the next video. For now, just go to edit mode. It's probably where most of your work is gonna be. From here, drag whatever video file you want into the timeline. If the frame rate of your project is different than the frame rate of the footage you just dragged in, it will ask if you wanna use the footage project as the base frame rate. Usually you wanna say yes, but it's your call. You will find that the media gets organized up here, but if you want to further organize it, you can just add a new bin or a folder, and then organize it however you see fit. To control the timeline, hold Alt and scroll to zoom in and out, hold Control and scroll to move left and right, and you can also just middle click to pan left or right as well. You can also use the J key to play the timeline in reverse, press K to pause, and L to play it forward. And if you keep pressing L or J, it will double the speed each time. Spacebar also plays the video forward, in case you were just used to that from Premiere. Snapping is on by default, but if you want to disable it, just click right here. You will also notice that when you click your video, it may highlight both the audio and the video. If you only want to mess with one thing at a time, click here to unchain them, and now you can select them separately. The hotkey to cut is Control backslash. To ripple delete, you hit Shift and backspace. You can also manually select the cut tool over here. If you click on a cut between two clips, you can change where the cut happens, or you can click here and you can do a ripple move, and it will move the clips irrespective of the cut. Now, one of the first things that might throw you off is when you cut a video clip and try to delete it, the audio will also get deleted with it. Now, obviously, we don't want that, so to fix it, at any point, you can disable the link between tracks by clicking this button here. Now, let's say that you wanted to add video transitions. Well, to do that, you just go up to the effects and pick the type of effects you want. Let's say I wanted to dissolve, I just drag it in and bam, effect done. Here you can also add titles and subtitles, and if you look around and scroll, you will find some that are actually already animated. And you can preview them by just moving your mouse across like so. You can select it and further adjust its properties up in the details area. And you might have noticed that each clip has a little handle here, which you can drag to just manually fade things whenever you need. And this also works for audio. So it's an easy way to make an audio fade in or fade out. Speaking of audio, if you ever want to change the audio levels, you can drag the line right here and lift it up or down to make it louder or quieter. If you want to play a clip in reverse, just right click the clip, change the clip speed, and hit reverse speed. If you'd like to stretch a clip, just select the clip and hit Control R. And this will allow you to stretch or compress the clip to fit what you need. Keying things is pretty straightforward. You can key anything that you see in the top right. When you want to adjust the keys though, there are two places you can do it. You can do it by opening up this menu down here, or you can do it up here. Just click here and here to reveal the curves. You can either adjust the handle yourself, or you can go and click these preset curves to ease in and ease out. At any point, if you go up here to DaVinci and keyboard customization, if you search the name of an action, you can set the hotkeys to whatever you want. Now, I personally just set mine to be the same as they were in Premiere for simplicity's sake, but do it however works for you. And when you are done and you wanna export your video, just go up, quick export, pick your format, export to your destination, and you're done. So that is the crash course on jumping from Premiere to DaVinci. In the next video, I will show you how to jump from After Effects to DaVinci Fusion. So you can do more advanced special effects things with keys and curves. But in the meanwhile, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.